Today's video is sponsored by SwitAirsoft.com Oh yeah baby, look. Um, Gus? <laughs> Oh, now, that looks nice. So, the first thing you're greeted with is a manual, and I believe this is almost like a poster style, yeah. Not even a book or booklet, but there you go. With your basic instructions, a complimentary bag of BBs. So what else do we have? I'll tell you what this is in a moment, but you have this and five airsoft shotgun cartridges, an unjamming and cleaning rod, and the main piece itself. Come on now. <laughs> Terminator 2. Anybody? Anyone? Mm. Would you look at this? Now you've really got to show some appreciation at how well SNT has done in producing such a beautiful piece. Imagine turning up on gameplay day and you had one of these bad boys as part of your loadout. Oh my gosh! So let me take you around this beautiful specimen we have right here. Let me tell you straight out of the gate, real wood and full metal everywhere else. Unlike another particular brand where there were certain parts like the barrel was plastic, come on. But this bad boy, metal and wood. So starting at the rear, you have this wooden pistol grip. And then of course, come on, <laughs> the bit that excites me the most about this is your lever action. Now let me just get this out of the way because I've been criticised about this before and I thought that was a bit rude. Someone telling me that it's not lever, it's lever. How dare you? <laughs> we have different countries in this world. Over here, little old blighty, we say lever. The American cousins say lever. Let's call the whole thing, anyway. <laughs> but you know what? I'm happy with either or either. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, come on, this is an all-American beauty. Well, this Airsoft version wasn't made in America. It probably was made in China, but it's based on the all-American Winchester model, 1887. Ah, John Browning, what a legend. Anyway, the lever. Would ya look at that? Come on now. How does that not excite you? So as you can imagine, this is where all the action happens right here. So at this point, let me just show you what this is used for. Believe it or not, this is to adjust your hop up. Um, the way you go about doing that is you insert it right there. Let's just, do this correctly, there you go. Let me show you that at that point. Then what you wanna do is push it forward until it's all the way in. And then you use this bladed part of your hop-up tool to adjust your hop-up accordingly. Now, before we move along this beautiful piece, I really want you to appreciate how s &T has replicated this part right here of the lever action. This is so beautiful. It looks so intricate. And it is buttery smooth. I'm, you know, seriously, buttery smooth. I love that. Let me just show you from the top what happens when you work that lever. So just like Wait for it, the real thing. <laughs> wow. 
Now if I just raise this section up, you can see right there what looks like your firing pin. Now what I love about this particular system is that you don't put the gas inside your shells. Your gas goes inside your airsoft weapon. Now if you look inside the manual, it will show you that you put your gas in somewhere there. But if you look carefully, I don't know about you, I can't see anywhere where you would put the gas. But alas, the reason why you can't see that is because of the state that it's in at the moment. So to reveal your gas valve, and this is only if you open it up and you see no gas valve there, all you do is you simply close it, point it in a safe direction, fire, open up your lever again. Oh, you gotta love that sound it makes. And then voila, there's your gas valve. So the rest of this beautiful piece, can I just say, come on, look at the design right there. Very nice and ornate. Anyway, so the rest of this beautiful piece, so you've got your large full metal outer barrel, then you've got your wooden furniture right here, and then you have your magazine tube, just like a pump action shotgun, but obviously this is pre-pump action, so it's lever action, but you've got your magazine tube right there. Now they have supplied five shells. Then if you look at the front of this beautiful piece, you can see your inner barrel. So effectively what that means is, although it's a shotgun, <laughs> when you put your BBs in there, they're gonna come flying out one behind the other in a single straight line. But sooner or later, as you gain more distance during the flight of the BBs, they will begin to spread. Now at this point, I'm not gonna put any BBs in these shells just yet because I really want you to see how this whole system works, just like the real thing. Now I say just like the real thing, you will see straight away, those of you who know exactly how the real one works, that there is some differences in there, but you know, the basics are pretty much the same. Right, so the exciting part for me is showing you the whole lever action and the shell ejecting, yes, <laughs> the good stuff. So I'm just gonna put two in for now, just to show you how it all works. Almost like the real thing, you put your cartridges in down at the bottom, so that you are effectively filling up your magazine tube. And the reason why I'm now saying almost like the real thing, I was watching Hickok 45 and he showed the insides here and I can see a slight difference, okay? But anyway, the basics are the same. So now that that's down there, you wanna push it forward and that's your first one in your magazine tube. I'm gonna put one more in there. Now, Obviously, when you're doing this, there's two shells in there now, you're gonna want your BBs inside your shells. I'm just showing it to you. I'm gonna dry fire this just to show you the whole action of it all. Right, so you've got your shells or your cartridges in, you close your lever and it presents you your first cartridge. So at this point, you close it. It's now ready, baby, again, I'm dry firing this for your benefit. Don't wanna put any BBs in it just yet. So fire, that's your first shot. Now you wanna get that spent cartridge out. So effectively now, when I open this again, the shell should come flying out. Ah, oh, yeah, baby! Okay, so all five are in, ready to be fired. I'm just gonna make sure it does function without any jams. So the first thing you would do is to close your lever, then release it, and that reveals your first cartridge. You then close your lever, and you're good to go. Ha <laughs> ha, lovely. Beautiful. And look, she's empty. Okay now, with these shells, they take up to three BBs. Now you don't have to put three in, you can just put one in, but take note, if you put one in, the FPS will be higher and it will hurt a bit more. <laughs> but anyway, you put three in there just like that and they will not fall out the bottom, even though there is a hole going all the way through. Yeah, you've got your O-rings as well, so they will not fall out the front either. So there's three in here and there's three in each of these.
Right, I've got to get rid of that sticker. Now as you can see there, because I'm not too far from this target, the spread is almost non-existent. But what it does demonstrate, it's a fairly accurate shotgun. So those are three BBs for each shot. Now I've got one more shot to go, but I've decided to do this one through the chrono machine. Three, seven, one. Now let me be honest with you, whenever I do chrono tests of say shotguns or any airsoft weapon that fires more than one BB at the same time, so I'm talking about shotguns and things like that, I'm not too sure if these type of chrono machines are the correct ones to be using because I don't think it really measures them correctly. However, believe it or not, the figure you just saw there of 371 is pretty much the lower end of what you should expect from this shotgun. Now technically it should have said three BBs went through this and it only showed one, but I can assure you three did go through it, but it registered as one. But anyway, 371, that's a nice figure. I must stress, if you're gonna use this for gameplay, you need to use something like 144A gas, it depends where you are on this planet. They have different names for these lower powered gases. I used green gas in this, so 371 is a bit too hot for gameplay, which is why I suggest you use a slightly weaker gas. And I believe in the States, you've got something called duster gas or something like that. I don't know, but yeah. So what are my initial thoughts on this beauty? In terms of how it looks, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. This thing is gorgeous. Build quality, I'm going to give it 9.5 out of 10. Functionality, I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. Why the drop of one point? Well, you know when I was putting in those shells, after a while, your finger gets sore. I'm telling you. Maybe the trick is not to try and rush it and be careful how you're putting them in. But seriously, off camera and on camera, I was constantly reloading this thing with these cartridges and shells and my finger just started really getting sore. Lots of metal parts down in there when you're putting in those cartridges. Now you can wear gloves, but you know, sometimes your gloves can get caught up in that mechanism. So hmm, maybe not recommended. Now, another reason why I can't give it 10 out of 10 for functionality, it's that age old argument about anything that's shell ejecting as much as I, Airsoft Mike, absolutely adore shell ejecting airsoft weapons. During gameplay, not very practical because you're gonna lose those bad boys. Another thing I'm not too sure about, have you noticed that that trigger guard is only a partial trigger guard? So you could accidentally tap that trigger and fire some BBs. So as always, make sure it's facing in a safe direction when you're loading this thing and make sure you and anyone else around you is wearing iPro. So overall, I absolutely love this thing. And have you noticed? I haven't tried to sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I haven't said any of the quotes from the movies because that would be such a predictable thing to do. <clears throat> now I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Anywho, if you like what you see, hit that video description. You'll see a direct link to the SwiftAirsoft.com website. Once again, thanks to SwiftAirsoft.com for hooking me up with this. I absolutely love it. Make sure to hit that link in the video description and I'll catch you next time with something so deluxe, so upgraded, so amazing. I had to hit the road and go outside and use a much longer range. Can you guess what it is? Ha, see you next time.
on the airsoft mic, you get to the chapel. Uh, no, that's the wrong movie, actually. That's Predator. Oh.